Hey everybody, today we're going to use a Bezier curve to move a graphic. Uh, a previous challenge discussed the ease out keyword that describes an animation change that speeds up first and then slows down at the end of the animation. On the right, the difference between ease out keyword uh, for the blue element, which means this guy over here on the right, I suppose. Uh, the linear keyword for the red element is demonstrated. Okay, so difference between ease out, this is ease out. So it sort of goes fast, slows down, and uh, goes slow, and then goes fast, and then slows down. And then this is the linear, which just means it's just going the exact same speed the whole time. Uh, similar animation progressions to the ease out keyword can be achieved by using a custom cubic Bezier curve function. Um, in general, changing the P1 and P2 uh, anchor points uh, drives the creation of different Bezier curves which control how the animation progresses through time. Here's an example of Bezier curve using values to mimic the ease out style. Uh, interesting. Um, uh, remember that all cubic Bezier functions start with P0 at 00, 0 and end with P3 at 1, 1. In this example, the curves move faster through the Y axis. Starts at Y, goes P1, Y value of 0, and then goes P2, Y value of 1. And then it moves through the X value, uh, 0 to start, then 0 for P1, up to 0 0.58 for P2. As a result, the change in the animated element progresses faster than the time of the animation for the segment. Towards the end of the curve, the relationship between the change in X and Y reverses, and the Y value moves from 1 to 1, which is a no change relationship, and the X value moves from 0.58 to 1, making the animation change changes uh, progress slower compared to the animation duration. To see the effect of this Bezier curve in action, change the animation timing function, the animation timing function right here, uh, of the red element. So they want us to change this one. This is the red element. So the HTML is the red. Uh, if we were to d eliminate the red, we would see that there's none. Uh, the, and then the ID corresponds, because it's an ID, it's the pound sign, the red. So we want to change the to the cubic, cubic Bezier function with x1, y1, x2 values set respectively to 0, 0, 0 0.58 to 1. Hmm. <clears throat> so this will make both elements progress through the animation similarly. Interesting. OK. So I think what I'm reading is that they want us to change it to cubic Bezier um, with the following coordinates. And now they're running equally. If we run the test so we can see if it passes. This is really interesting. This is a very complex sort of thing that I honestly don't understand. And it's interesting that they've put this in here. Um, being able to get through this is uh, somehow useful, but at the same time, this is something that's not really going to come up in my experience in uh, software engineering. Uh, understanding the complexities of this Bayesian function, the the capacity to be able to go through this is useful, but at the same time, this uh, seems like a um, tutorial that's not necessarily in the right spot. So uh, yeah, the tests run, everything passes. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next video.